52-year-old Tony Gilliard is appreciating life like never before. You've got to live your life like every day is your last day. This past June 11th almost was his last day. Gilliard was playing his regular weekly basketball game in a church gymnasium in Greer, South Carolina, when he suddenly passed out. It quickly became clear that this was a matter of life or death. I don't remember nothing. I was just dead. I just died. It was a heart attack, and Gilliard was in full cardiac arrest. His teammates immediately got to work. One grabbed the defibrillator the church had just recently installed. Another started chest compressions. Yet another, who had undergone defibrillator training just four days before, shocked Gilliard's heart back to life, four and a half minutes after it had stopped beating. As the EMTs arrived about five minutes later, Gilliard began to regain consciousness. So what was the first thing you noticed or thought? A little embarrassed. Embarrassed? Yeah, yeah. I'm laying here, I'm looking up, and EMTs are around me, and uh, okay, I just messed up a pretty good basketball game. He wobbles, and then yeah, he's down. He at first, Gilliard didn't want to watch the security camera video, but when he finally did, he was stunned. I'm not watching me, I'm watching all the guys. All these guys came together Everything. and did the roles as though they had rehearsed them. They were heroic. And I've never seen a heart attack live before. Gilliard's teammates, David Sandquist, Josh Thomas, and Chard Garrett, refused to give up. All I could think about was Father's Day was right there. This guy's got a, kids, we're not gonna ruin their Father's Day. <laughs> Gilliard and his wife Rita have two grown children and three grandchildren. What did the doctors tell you would have happened if these guys did not do what they did? Mine not would have been drastically different because we would have been playing the funeral. Gilliard often watches the weekly basketball game from the sidelines. He isn't ready to play yet, but he does practice his shot. That's it. That's it. It's over. I'm on. He says there's one part that he still can't get out of his mind. At the end, as he was wheeled out of the gym, when his friends got down on their knees and prayed. Chip Reed, CBS News, Greer, South Carolina.